So I got asked a question yesterday about property types where um, someone wanted to know if you're if you're new to Unity and you're trying to change something on a component like a camera, say you want to change the field of view, how do you know what value type it is unless someone's told you in advance? And this is this is how to do it. So if you're new to Unity and you're not really sure what properties a component has, Autocomplete will do a lot of that for you. So for example, I've got this little zoom feature that uses field of view. Um, now I know that's a float. If you're new to Unity and you don't know it's a float, how can you work it out? So I've got, this is where I'm changing it. So I've got a reference to my camera. Just take that out for a second. So my camera is a reference to a camera component dot and autocomplete will show all of the types of things I can do with this. Now there are quite a lot. So usually you'd have an idea of what you want to work with. So say I know there's a field of view property. I can just start typing field of view and it shows me it's a float. I can get it and I can set it. It's the, it's the vertical field of view for the camera in degrees. So that's pretty useful. And then I can set it to whatever I, to whatever I want it to be. However, what if you don't know what type of properties a component has? Well, there is a way to do that. The easiest way in Visual Studio is to select the component or the reference of the component. So let's say if I've got a camera component, that's the type. And I just click on it and I do command apostrophe. Or if you're on a PC, control apostrophe. Or if that shortcut doesn't work, you can also use the Unity API reference menu item at the top and that'll do the same thing. So that will take you to um, the Unity documentation for the version that you're using and it will search for that component type. So I can see that there's a camera here, click on camera and now I can see everything that it does. So for example, I can find field of view, click on field of view. I can see that it's a, it's a float value, a public float value that can be set. I can see what to do with it and also gives me some notes say if the camera is orthographic it just ignores this value because it doesn't need it um, so yeah super easy thing very basic but if you're new to Unity you're just getting used to using it um, this is the sort of thing you're going to be doing a lot you're going to be wanting to know what a component can do what you can do with it and this is the quickest way to do it